This is Ty Washington, who goes by the rap name Egyptian, who like a madman broke into his family's home with a semi-automatic firearm in hand and started to fire multiple shots, leaving his own mother with multiple gunshot wounds as well as his 21-year-old sister and 12-year-old brother who was also rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. And I called her ex-husband and he actually got on the scene that quick and I could hear the paramedics in the background saying that they heard of, you know, they said female, two shots to the chest. Shortly after spraying up his own mama's house, Ty would disappear into the night, which would lead to law enforcement starting a manhunt for the rapper. But the story would only start getting crazy there, and it gets even wilder. Because not only did he send his entire immediate family to the hospital and start a manhunt spanning two states, while on the run, he would start dropping not so cryptic messages on his Instagram, basically talking about how he was pretty much done with life and other shocking shit that we'll get to later. Because while all of this would already make for a tragic and disturbing story, what has this particular one going viral is the fact that apparently Egyptian scheduled to drop his music video the same day he shot his mom and siblings. Guess there's no such thing as bad press. We're deadly alive, together we're deadly alive. Apparently, Ty Washington, or Egyptian, thought that it would be a good idea to get some clout and promote his latest song if he was going to go through all the trouble of gunning down his own family, unfortunately. But again, this is just the highlights of the story. The details get crazy, and how this all ended will blow your mind. Because it gets worse, because Ty would later be unalived in a shootout with police. And the story of how he was tracked down and how it all unfolded is shocking. But first, I am Joe Stone, and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast we'll be finding the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church make sure to subscribe now on march 28th tuesday it was reported on abc 8 news that rapper ty adam washington ii who goes by the stage name egyptian shot his family before being gunned down by police according to vibe the 26 year old virginia based rapper broke into his mother's home that same tuesday and shot his mother taisha hall his sister and brother as stated on the police report ty fled the murder scene to which authorities launched a citywide search for him a manhunt for a triple shooting suspect in henrico ends in north carolina authorities say ty adam Washington the second is dead and a deputy is hurt after an exchange of gunfire in Rutherford County. Now Ty stayed hidden for a while and was able to keep the cops guessing while he traveled from his state to a different one. During his time he dropped his newest and final music video to his track Be Free. Inside of my head, thinking from the dark, my thoughts are not mine. If I get lost, I me alive. The next day, Wednesday 29th, Ty took to his Instagram where he made a post dedicated to a last request to humanity. In this, we start to get an inside look into the type of person that would do something so horrific. In the post, he says, this world is full of nothing but suffering and pain. The burden I've carried on my heart has finally reached its peak. I will not be held captive or a prisoner. I'd rather return to the source. Remember, please be careful and considerate of how you treat people. You never know what someone is going through or when they're breaking point is i've reached mine this world is all a test well if it is mr egyptian i'm gonna be honest with you you failed he would also leave another slew of not so cryptic messages and pictures and videos of his son all over his instagram post where he would be telling people to donate to his son giving out a cash app and it was like five or six of these instagram posts because apparently that was his idea of being a good father and it's sad because these pictures are heartwarming and it's heartbreaking that this child is now going to grow up without a father and having to live with the stigma that comes with being the son of someone that did something so horrific but fast forward that following thursday on march 30th a a standoff between law enforcement and Ty took place in North Carolina, Rutherford County, where police ended up shooting and unaliving the rapper. Jasmine, on Wednesday, North Carolina authorities sent out an alert that Washington may have been spotted in the area. His car was found, but he was not found. This search for Washington led to this morning's standoff in Rutherford County. I to open the door and a cop come running up and told me, close your door, stay inside, stay inside. 
and they all went down that way. With armored vehicles and officers in tactical gear, the shootout began when a deputy was shot and airlifted to the hospital. With armored vehicles and officers in tactical gear, the shootout began. Sheriff's office found the 26-year-old fugitive and a shootout started. During the exchange of gunfire, authorities said Washington was killed and a deputy was shot. That deputy was airlifted to a hospital and is expected to recover. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at Egyptian's Instagram post and understand that he was already prepared to go to war with the police and probably planned on using them to end his own life. In the shootout, a deputy was shot and wounded and airlifted to the hospital with expectations of recovery. Apparently, officers tried to make contact while Egyptian was in his car. He fled into a house and hid before the shootout began and at this point we don't know if the people who owned the house were also involved in this incident or not. People were inside the home at the time of the shootout but it's unclear whether they're connected to the incident. Now, after harming his family members, Ty's family was rushed to the VCU medical care to treat their life-threatening injuries where they remain in recovery. It seems like Ty's family will end up making it through this horrific incident and will come out the other side. Unfortunately, the healing process with their bodies may complete, but the mark and scars that are gonna be left on them emotionally and psychologically will probably last a lifetime. But with this story blowing up the way that it has, of course, we know exactly what was going to happen. Social media was going to chime in and there's a lot to unpack here. His last request should not be granted. The music video should never see the light of day. Thank God the family survived. Facts. Posting these things make those who aren't well-minded feel like they can get notoriety from doing the same. These articles have consequences. I think there is a point in that argument, but I think it's most important to draw the line somewhere and still talk about these things because you can't bury them, but use that to teach lessons and also to discourage others to do the same. Like the guy was a great artist. Do not go romanticizing his music. And I agree with the last comment. Maybe the video shouldn't see the light of day. Everything isn't mental illness. It's called spiritual wickedness. I mean, that is pretty wicked. This is so disturbing. Praying for those family members. Exactly. We over here at the Church of Joe Stone send our prayers and thoughts and will wishes to the family as well. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that the video should be banned? What do you feel about this story? How do you think this could have been prevented? And do you think that this will cause others to try to do the same? What is it right now with people thinking it's a good idea to end their lives and then try to take people with them? Seems like that's becoming the new thing and I just don't get why. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast and I'm your host, Joe Stone.